good morning good morning welcome to my channel I don't know if you can see what I'm doing but I've got the microwave on what we need for tea dyeing icing sugar I love me icing sugar oh, I just put it um, a tablespoon about one two three four four eight tea bags um, we do a bit of coffee probably I don't know four tablespoons I normally fill it to about there goes in my bottle mix and the other stuff I use is this beautiful paper toweling I like it because sometimes it leaves imprints on my pages the quickest way I know um, to do this and I'm going to see if I'm in film and I am is I just throw my papers in and I spray away and what I normally do is I spray enough pages to practically do a journal shake it about because the beauty of this you're not wasting nothing. whoops but like I said um, what I like about this technique is if I want to make a journal quickly I can um, and it's quick and easy you know and in this spraying just creates all sorts of patterns um, I don't know if it's to do with the icing sugar or what a lady once told me as a joke that's what she uses it was a joke but you know what I tried her joke and I love how they turn out these are the pages I've already put in so I'm going to turn them around and let them zap some more and we're gonna do some more and like I said, I just keep spraying. Because it seems to add its own, I don't know, texture. And like I said, I can do enough pages for a journal. In no time. See, you notice I'm only spraying one side. See, they lift away. But we'll, space, we'll keep it going because that's what I do. So you're in my kitchen pantry. I love this pantry. I've got lots of room for everything. Um, but I've got to watch because what happens is the lights go out in here. So I always got to wave at the light. And like I said, See how I even do the Zari ribbon like this. When I do my Zari ribbon, what I found with it is that I put it on a lower setting my microwave. And I scrunch the Zari up. I do all sorts of papers this way, I do my fabrics this way. Because sometimes I need coloured fabric in a hurry. So we'll just let that soak up. And these aren't going to take much longer. You know, sometimes it might take you five minutes to dry a bunch of paper. But it's not long and... Like I said, if you're going to achieve beautiful colour, because I let it soak in between the pages that are drying. And then I put the other bunch in. But like I said, my secret weapon is icing sugar. Icing sugar. Like I said, the lady told me this is a joke. But you know what? This joke works. It just gives me 
really nice texture to my pages. These are nearly dry, but we're going to give them another quick set. And these ones I didn't allow to soak like I would normally. And what I like about this paper, if I do it this way, I can actually put it through my printer without damaging my printer. Um, I don't overuse the coffee because that could be a problem. So, um, less coffee and make sure your tea bags don't come apart because then they, it won't spray so easily in your spray bottle. I love my spray bottle. I swear by it, you know. Like I said, I want, if I want pages in a hurry, this is my quickest way of doing it because I don't want to be sitting in front of a stove or outside in the heat doing pages for a journal. This is my quickest method. So we'll pull these out because they're dry. And if they're not super dry, they will be dry in no time. And we're going to put the next slot in. Now be careful you don't tear your paper. You make sure you get the main drips out. And you'll notice this is going to be darker paper than my first papers because I've let it soak in that mix. Now out of this, I can get um from that bottle uh about i don't know let's say 60 pages and we're going to zap it and we're going to chuck some more in there for the next lot and like i said the beauty of this is now i don't have to spray all i've got to do is put them in because I sprayed enough with the first few. And you'll see the difference between the pages that soaked and the pages that didn't, you know, because I threw them straight in. So like I said, I think this is about a thousand mil. So eight tea bags to four tablespoons of coffee. The coffee just gives it that little bit of richness that um we need in our paper and like i said you know this is the best and easiest way for me it mightn't be the easiest way for others but if you're in a confined space you know and you haven't got the capacity to dry your paper now i start spraying because we're running out of the mix And let me soak it up. And like I said, I put lots in my bundle. And you know, and if I've got a mix left over, I will get doilies and dry those doilies. Need more spray. Do it. Like I said, this does enough for a journal for me. Um, Probably 160 pages front to back. I've done five, uh, 500 pages this week. Like dictionary pages. So, you know, sometimes I just mix up a couple of tea bags, um, a teaspoon of coffee, and away I go with the spray bottle and just throw in dictionary pages or other pages. The only ones I don't do in the microwave is shiny pages. I feel like you're going too far when it's shiny pages. I think that's enough for this lot. Now we just let it soak. And you'll see, you know, the darkness of the richness of the paper the first lot are always the lightest. Now, what I'll do, I'll turn these over because we're going to see them dry. So these are my liner pages. But look at the texture. 
Now, if you want to add, but with that, the texture is gorgeous. These still need to dry a little bit more, but I'm not stressed. Whoops. See, no pages are torn. That was already torn. Fast, quick and easy. But look at that. And I am sure that's from the coke, uh, from the icing sugar. And I just love it. I love this technique. Being fast, easy, quick. Also, now, if you want to add photos, it is super important to use bicarb soda. Um, I do the ratio of two teaspoons in a full bottle of um, coffee mix because that will reduce your, um, uh, I forget what they call it, so it reduces what's in the coffee which actually deteriorates photos and so does tea so you need bicarb soda you really do it's important i did not use it for this journal i don't aim to put photos in this journal now um they're still not quite dry but they're starting to separate and look at the doily marks look 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 so I want the doily marks on that side. All from paper toweling ladies. This beautiful paper toweling. Love, love it. I love what it does to my paper. It doesn't do it to all the pages, but it does it to some and, and adds that character. Um, to me, I'm all about making my journals look yummy. And I love my papers to look yummy. And they are looking yummy. I've got different colour tones. In fact, there's a bit of lace work on the edge of that page. Which it should be lace work on this one somewhere. This one was lying down. I'd say it was this one. You can see doily marks there. I'll just see if there's any others. Because the heaviness of the water is what creates the doily marks. There it is there. You can see it. Let's see how these are separating. Oh, they're doing beautifully. And they're separating. Wow. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put these on the top. I said the wetter ones. Zap them some more. And like I said, it doesn't take long. You know, like five minutes, um, you've already got pages. If for a journal, 15 minutes and you're done. Like literally, I am done now. I don't need to do more once I dry the second, the third lot. I normally dry, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I normally dry 10 at a time. I, and that's what's important to me, the amount of papers I can dry. So let's see what's happening. Oh, delicious look and every page is different these need a few more seconds so let's zap them and give it to them like I said it doesn't take long but make sure when you put your papers in that they are in a position where they can rotate around your microwave. See, they're all different. Not one of them is the same. I love that texture. And look at that. See it come through on the other side? 
and it's all different. Love, love, love. And they're crispy. They still come out crispy, ladies. These are still a little bit damp. And you know, if you don't want to completely dry them, at this stage, you can literally take them out of your oven or microwave. I'll zap it a bit more. And just let them air dry. It only takes 10 minutes for them to air dry after they've been set. They're, they're still crispy. So um, this is the quickest way I know to do this method. So we're going to remove those. And we're going to fix me doily. Do you know I've actually used these doilies for my crafting? Because they stiffen up and come really nice from my tea dyeing method um, I've just got to make sure I grab it from the bottom so I don't rip my paper I've got long nails so my long nails do tend to go through my papers if I'm not careful so I've still got enough to do at least 10 more pages so basically, I've done a journal in no time. Absolutely no time. And look, you know how easy it is to wipe a microwave after, after you've done this process? So look. Again, the patterns. If you want a darker paper, you just throw in more um, coffee or tea bags. Just be careful you don't break those tea bags and wreck the nozzle of your um, bottle because it can get stuffed up. But look at that. So there's our creations. And like I said, there is, with that lot, enough to start my new journal. Easy, simple. And if I do happen to tear a page, like I did this one, I will just wash you that up with tea dyed pages. But see the imprint of the holy paper is on there. Plus the doily, plus the holes. So this is my method and like I said you've got plenty of water to make more and some more in the spray bottle and this way you have made enough for a journal anyway thank you all for watching um, and tuning into my channel I hope the video worked properly it's a pain in the butt when you're trying to film something like this I hope you hear me clearly and I will see you next time on my channel. Bye for now.